Well, we will discuss about the clinical management of patients with plasma cell leukemia, primary plasma cell leukemia mainly, and uh, our discussion, the one of my colleague and I, Dr. Van de Donk, uh, will be to will focus on what are the practical aspects. And so we will start with two clinical cases to discuss how you diagnose these patients, how you make the diagnosis, and then uh, how you decide the, the treatment for the patient, the specific therapy, the chemotherapy, but also how you manage the several um, complications uh, that you can have in these patients. Well, there are, I think, two types of therapies. You can decide to treat the patient with the standard approach outside of a clinical trial. And in this case, uh, uh, the treatment of choice generally is a bortezomib-based regimen in combination with chemo or with immunomodulatory agents based also on what is available in the different countries. Um, then if the patient is eligible for high-dose chemotherapy, the suggestion is to perform the transplant because uh, autotransplant prolongs the survival of patients who are able to, to receive this, uh, this pro procedure. Otherwise, if the patient is not eligible, the treatment should potentially continue for a long time period to maintain the disease under control. Since these patients are generally the patients with uh, plasma cell leukemia are patients with a high risk and with a very bad prognosis, the, um, we, encor we encourage also the enrollment of these patients in clinical trials so that uh, we can uh, um, treat them with newer agents that potentially have a high efficacy. And so we will discuss also the clinical management of a patient that uh, will be enrolled in a, in a clinical trial. Because most of the patients uh, at the time of disease presentation, because of the high tumor burden, uh, they can have uh, cytopenia. Uh, it's quite common in patients with plasma cell leukemia to have free light chains, high levels of free light chains, or uh, Benz Jones proteinuria also at high level. So uh, renal failure is quite common. So we will briefly discuss also about this, about the um, potential uh, occurrence uh, of uh, tumor lysis syndrome because again these patients uh, have generally a um, high tumor burden and so if the chemo works uh, the result is that potentially the patient can have a tumor lysis syndrome. Other complications that are very frequent, frequent in myeloma but especially in plasma cell leukemia are also the infections. Uh, especially at the beginning of treatment. So the point is that uh, even with all these uh, complications, you have to treat the complication, but also to treat the disease and to use the chemo. Otherwise, uh, uh, there's no way to, to solve the problem. So these are very complicated patients for these two reasons. Well, I think that uh, we have this trial that is with uh, carfizomib and lenalidomide. So basically we are using proteasome inhibitor and immunomodulatory agent second generation, which is a treatment that upfront is not allowed, not yet, is not reimbursed yet, at least in Europe. So um, I think this is a promising regimen that we are evaluating in a clinical trial together with Dr. Van de Donk and Dr. Musso in Italy. Uh, so I think that uh, this is a promising option. We do not have yet data on this combo. There is another agent that to me is very promising, which is Venetoclax, because it works uh, in patients with translocation 1114, which is a quite common um, chromosomal abnormalities in patients with plasma cell leukemia. But again, we do not have data on the efficacy of these agents specifically in this subset of very high risk patients. These are drugs that are promising. I think there is a lot going on, but we still don't have results.
Well, I think uh, it will take us years, still years, because of the rarity of the disease, because uh, if you want to treat these patients into clinical trials, as you know, clinical trials uh, have inclusion criteria. So since the disease is complicated, not often the patient with uh, this type of disease can enter into the trial. So the enrollment is not so easy. And, uh, but I think that we, we have to go on to hold on and try to, to get good results. I think that uh, every clinician should try to be positive, even with this very aggressive disease. Uh, so to do and to do his best to, to treat this patient. Uh, if the patient is very elderly and is frail, it is difficult that you can solve the problem. But otherwise, now we have many drugs that uh, can work in these patients. It's just uh, to try to, to treat the patient uh, and treat the complications and use the chemo and do your best. Mm -hmm.